You too. What it do, bro? I just finished one of my exams. So you already know, bro. You already know what time it is, bro. I gotta go home. I'm finna roll up real quick. And like, I'm finna just vlog for the day. So, sign all up in my eye, but I just wanna get a fit check real quick. You know what I'm saying? Hold on now. Hold on now. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't know about it. Hold up. Got a teddy bear. Y'all can't really see it, but got a whole like teddy bear book bag. Going crazy with the drip. Sir, baby. She ain't smoking on. That's good. I feel like I'm a little too far away. From the time you started smoking, all the way up until now, how many blunts do y'all think y'all ever smoked? Like, the overall amount of blunts y'all ever smoked. For me... Oh shit, hold up, hold up. One thing I hate about being in an apartment, bro, it's always something going down, bruh. You see, that's exactly why, like, I'm trying to get my own place, bruh. Cause I be chilling, I swear, like, I be chilling, but it's like, when you live in an apartment, bro, like, you just get thrown up with anybody. And, like, everybody be coming in with all types of situations, just going through things. And I hate how it's, like, I got to hear all that. Or it's, like, people bring their arguments, like, publicly outside. It's, like, yo, take that indoors, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, it's not even... I don't even know what time it is, to be honest. But I know it's not even 11, bro. And people are already here, they already here out here fussing. Bro, I got it like a serious question to ask. Like, does COVID still exist? Like, seriously, cause like everywhere I go, like I don't see nobody wearing masks. And it's like, when I do see people wearing a mask, I'm just kind of like, why? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's so weird. But like, is it still a thing? Like, has it been completely eradicated? I don't hear nobody talking about it. I don't hear the news talking about it. Like, remember when CNN was posting like, people dying like every day and it's like they don't even do that no more like what about monkey pox bro like is that not a thing either all these like diseases and like pandemics like they just be coming out of like nowhere and then it's like boom just like that like it's just gone like everybody forgets about it like that's weird like Oh, why I don't do this more. Smoking outside, like it's so cool, so chill. Look at the sky, bro. Like, it is one thing I want to talk about. Like, the media, they try to make it seem like the world is finna end. Like, they try to make it seem like the world is crazy. And I mean, technically it is. Like, there's crazy people out here. But like, I feel like everybody's like perspective of the world is different. Like, for example, like. If I was to watch the news like all day, and then if I was to like step outside the next day, I would be scared because it's like, when I watch the news, right? All I'm seeing is like people getting kidnapped, people getting killed, people getting robbed, people getting stabbed, people getting shot, right? And then it's like, when I walk outside of my apartment and I go to school or I just go to my local Walmart, or a grocery store, wherever, food restaurant, wherever. Like, everybody's chilling. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no violence. Like, things happen, but it's not like the world is finna end, if that makes sense. I guess everybody just has, like, their own perspective. But I hate when people just try to make it seem like the world is way worse than what it is. I mean, like, bro, look around. Like, look at this. The sun is out. You know what I'm saying? Barely got any clouds out. I'm sitting here smoking good gas. Like, I just took an exam that I feel like I did pretty good on. So it's like, life is good. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel good. I was just now thinking to myself, I was like, bro, like, it's been a minute since I've been to Waffle House. And I know it's not good, but I don't know. Like, for some reason, like, I'm really just like craving some Waffle House right now. And 
I still haven't tried like that Waffle House sandwich. So I'm finna just swing over there and I'm gonna try to get the Waffle House sandwich. I don't know how like the workers are gonna react. I don't know if they're gonna be mad or they're gonna be cool with it, but we gonna see. All right, so I just pulled up to the Waffle House, bro. I'm not excited, bro. Like, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Like, I'm not happy right now because the last time I ate Waffle House, bro, like, I, I'm talking about as soon as I finished eating the grits, like, not even, like, 30 minutes after eating the grits, I had to take a shit. So, I'm not happy, but we finna see. Maybe the sandwich will be good. Maybe not. I don't know, but we're gonna see. All right, so, like, I was too embarrassed to ask for it on cam. But I'm basically just like going to freestyle and like just make my own like waffle house sandwich. So I got like two waffles and then I got like some scrambled eggs, some bacon and some sausage. I'm going to just throw all that on top and we're going to see how it is. All right. So this is what everything looking like. Now, I ain't going to lie. The sausage does look a little disappointing, but I'm going to try to see what I can do with it. So this is my version of the Waffle House sandwich. I got the eggs, I got the sausage, the bacon, and then I got the grits on top. I'm gonna just add some syrup on top and I'm gonna see how it is. Yo, hold up. Cause why is actually good though? Hold on. Nah, hold on, bro. Cause why is this actually good? I see the hype now, bro. Bro, I'm, I'm not even lying. Like, I'm not. I'm not lying about this at all. Like, I see the hype about this, bro. Like, I'm talking about the syrup, the grits, like the eggs the bacon like all of it mixed together like i don't know what it is but it's like all of it mixed together it's like so fire bro like i'm not even gonna lie because like i said like i'm really not a big fan of waffle house but like when it comes to eating just the waffles by itself and the bacon and the eggs and the grits by itself like it's kind of mid but like all together bro, this thing go crazy i'm not gonna lie You definitely gotta try this at least once. At least once. Yeah. I'm gonna make one more sandwich. I honestly wanna make more, but they didn't give me enough sausage, so. But it, it's cool though. Cause I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make it do what it do, bro. This thing bust, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Bro, this thing crazy, bro. Look at that. It's like eating a whole egg McMuffin, but with waffles, basically. And it got grits. This right here the highlight of my day, bro. And I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm so glad I came out here, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I feel so good right now, bro. Like, 
this is like probably the first time. Well, I all right, I, I ain't gonna lie. This ain't the first time, but it's been a long time since like I actually enjoyed Waffle House. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like when I was little, I used to always just get like a grilled cheese sandwich and I'll get like a side of bacon with like some scrambled eggs and like that would do it for me, right? Now, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I be trying to like go with the All-Star, like I still be rocking with the All-Star, but what I just did, that Waffle House sandwich, like I said, like y'all just got to try it, bro. Like it actually is worth it, bro. I'm not going to lie. Now, I only paid $20. So, like I said, I freestyle, so I literally just got like two waffles, like some sausage patties. They only gave me two. And it was pretty small. I, I thought they would be bigger, but I don't know. And then uh, I got some bacon, some grits, and some eggs. And I got all that for like $20, bro. That was fine. I'm not gonna lie. 